Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Render. Today we will learn how to light a scene with Maverick Ambiences, IBL Maps and the Physical Sky System. A new Ambiences tab is now available in the Lighting Library. Ambiences are similar to HDR environments, but they include a shadow catching floor. They are also smart, and adapt to your scene scale and orientation automatically. In essence, they are shortcuts to illuminate a scene and integrate your objects with the background in just one click. You can drag and drop ambiences directly onto your scene. Let's try some of them. We have this outdoor ambience for example. By default the environment is locked, which allows to choose your camera angle without having the lighting and background changing all the time. To reorient the environment, simply hold the shift and control keys together, then hold down the right click button and drag the mouse. You can continue and try different ambiences, and rotate them. With Maverick's staggering GPU performance and render quality, ambiences represent an easy way to produce stunning images in no time. Maverick proposes also indoor and studio ambiences. Press the Zoom Extents button, or the Z key, to see the studio scene backdrop. Now you can see the ambience preset automatically added a studio-like backdrop to the scene, the home icon will return to the active camera saved position. Maverick also has interesting ambiences with a black reflective floor, like a typical acrylic panel used for product and jewelry visualization. You will also find artificial lights ambiences, particularly suited for car renders. The ambiences library even comes with physical sun and sky presets. Just as before, you can rotate the physical sun and sky holding the control and shit keys, and panning the mouse holding the right click button. Ambiences can be used on existing scenes as well. For example, load the mini sample scene. Once the scene has loaded, we will configure Maverick so the render is extremely responsive to our edits. In the render tab you will find presets that allow to configure Maverick's performance. The ultrafast preset favors maximum interactivity performance, but will have difficulties to clear long-term noise. We will use the ultrafast plus denoiser preset, for maximum interactivity performance and quick denoised preview. Now that our scene will update very fast, try applying new ambiences and see how they affect the scene. The default preset offers balanced performance, with good interactivity and good noise convergence. The final render preset clears the noise extremely well by sacrificing interactivity performance. This option should be used only when rendering the final image. All these presets have a denoiser variant, which will greatly clear noise at the selected sampling level. Let's try a black reflective ambience. As you can see, different ambiences have different floors, but they are automatically replaced without you having to do anything manually. And here you have it, a perfect render with just one click. Let's reset to the default teapot scene, and further discover Maverick's light sources and user interface. We will enable the ultra-fast plus denoiser rendering preset again. We can pause a moment and appreciate how fast Maverick cleans the scene with just one graphics card. The lights panel lists all the light sources. The IBL for example is the light source responsible for the environment lighting. IBL stands for image-based lighting. It is the light source that is used when you drag and drop ambiences or HDR images onto your scene. You can turn any light source on and off from the lights panel by clicking the small lightning icon. You can control the environment light power by using the IBL intensity slider, the rotation by using the angle slider, or holding the control and shift keys while holding the right click button and dragging the mouse as we have seen earlier. The intensity can also be controlled with a shortcut, by holding down the control and alt keys, and holding the right click button down while dragging the mouse. As usual, a single right click on a slider will reset it to its default value. In the lighting library you will also find HDR environment maps. Maverick packs over 100 different ones for outdoor, indoor, studio and more. And naturally you can use your own. You can try them and find the best fit for your scene. Applying an HDR to the scene only changed the environment lighting, leaving the shadow catching floor untouched. You can still change the rotation or intensity just the same as before. The IBL lighting also has an input for backplates. Backplates are photographs or images that are used to integrate your model with. 
You can turn it off using the small lightning icon as well. Or from the IBL parameters in the attribute editor. Here we have no backplate assigned, so the color is used. The backplate color can be edited interactively, like everything in Maverick. The library also comes with many backplates presets. Gradients for example are great to add dynamism to your models when you don't want a disturbing photo full of small details. Photographic backplates are ideal to integrate your models in a real-world setting. The photographic backplates included in Maverick are a match for a corresponding HDR from the lighting library. Let's now take a look at the physical sun and sky. You can quickly switch to the physical sun and sky by using one of the preset ambiences. Maverick's physical sky system accurately simulates the Earth atmosphere for daylight illumination. The same control and shift plus right click button combo will orient the sun just like the IBL. Like with all Maverick's light sources, their complete properties can be accessed through the lights panel. You can disable or enable the sun and the sky independently, or override their respective intensities. This can be used to create dim or strong sun ambiences, for example. You can even control the sun diameter, which will affect the shadow's softness. Let's reposition the sun to better see the effect on shadows. Increasing the sun diameter not only softens shadows, it changes the actual sun size, which can be seen very clearly in sharp reflections. You can also control the azimuth which is the sun orientation, and the altitude, which controls the elevation of the sun above the horizon, to create sunset ambiences for example. The Maverick physical sun and sky system also provides astronomical parameters. These allow you to enter real Earth coordinates, times and GMT offsets to perfectly match a specific location and time. That's it for this tutorial. Stay tuned for more tutorials on Maverick's extensive and powerful lighting abilities. Thank you for watching this video. Have fun rendering with Maverick.